What's the number that you see in nature most often? Pi? Phi? These exotic looking irrational numbers sure can be alluring, but the number most fundamental to our existence is the basic, primal, two. Two, or dos, or du, or zwei. It's a fascinating number. Our life form is based on having two approximately equal sides. Left and right eyes, hands and feet, even left and right brain hemispheres. And think about how many other animals have this bilateral symmetry. And take it further and look at some leaves. This leaf is bilateral. You can cut that leaf right in half. We are ever searching for this balance. So it's only natural that the number two infiltrates our basic perception of our surroundings. Our worldly religions, our first attempts to explain our existence, share some basic dichotomies, good and evil, darkness and light. Depending on your beliefs, you may choose 3 or 18 or 5 as your favorite number, but you can't escape the number on which your beliefs are built. But I don't follow any religion, you say. Well, it doesn't matter if you're agnostic or atheist or a minister of satire. You don't need to follow a religion or any ethos at all to be tied to the number 2. It's in our DNA. And it takes exactly two to procreate that DNA. Three's a crowd. There are whole fields of math devoted to the number two. In binomial probability, there are just two possible outcomes. Say you flip a coin, you can get either heads or tails. Let's assume you have a perfectly weighted coin. The chance of getting heads is truly one in two. If you flip that coin three times in a row and get heads every time, the probability of getting heads on the next flip is still one in two. The outcomes of the previous flips don't matter. Why? Because nothing has changed with the coin. It is still evenly weighted and therefore each side is just as likely to land up. The number two defines all the other integers. You know, if a number is divisible by two, it's even. If it's not divisible by two, it's odd. An even number refers to the fact that you can make nice even rows. With an odd number, instead of the paired rows, you have an odd one out. So we call half of all integers odd just because they don't adhere to the pattern of two. Can you think of anything else in the world that we would call odd when it's not even a rarity? And two is the only even number that also gets to call itself prime. Back to pi and phi, you need the ratio of two different numbers just to define them. Math is two. Religion is two. Life is two. So won't you join me in hailing the number two?